One couple, three wild ones, doing what they love the Benson way. Okay, so if you're watching this, it means that you have sand that um, is wet and you need it dry for whatever purpose, like uh, for your hermit crabs, that's what I need it dry for, um, or whatever other, whatever else reason. So, I got this bag of sand um, from Home Depot and it was sitting outside, so the humidity and stuff got it, and so it is soaking wet. Um, I tried setting it on this pan overnight and, um, to dry and it just wouldn't dry. Um, so my next option was baking. So that's what I've been doing. And, um, I would suggest not using your cookie sheet. So, um, but anyway, so I set my oven on 200 I know it's all greasy and stuff. We just had bacon for dinner and yeah. But anyway, um, so I set my oven on 200 and then put um, a layer of sand on here. And, and uh, so I go through, I let it bake for a little while and then I come through and I chop up some of the clumps with my spatula. And I'll check and see if it's all dry. And it finally is. Some of it can take an hour to dry, and um, it's not completely dry. I've just seen like a wet mark, wet streak. But, um, and some of it can take more, depending on the thickness that you make it. Yeah, it's still a little wet. This one has taken a little bit longer because I made it a little bit thicker because I'm getting kind of impatient. <laughs> I've been doing this all day. So it's very time consuming. Very, very time consuming, but yeah. But yeah, that's all you do. Just, and then like another way you can check it is if you go like that and none of it clumps up. But yeah, I think it might be done. So then, after I do that, I bring it over to my bowl. So, um, for a 50 pound bag of sand, this is my second bowl right here. It's completely full, so I have another a third bowl waiting. So all I'm gonna do is dump it in this bowl and then put another layer on the pan. So I'm gonna do that real quick and I'll be right back. All right, so I got it emptied out in here and again I was just going through checking all the clumps and breaking it up all right now we're going to put some more sand on the pan so I'm just going to scoop it out of the bag and dump it on the pan so let me get a pretty decent amount on here and then I'll be right back all right so I have a decent amount here so I'm going to spread it out this out all right so that looks good and then I'm just gonna place it in the oven and then when it's dry I'm gonna repeat the process over again because I think I have about one more pan load to do and then it will finally be done so that's how you dry sand bye